Hi, and welcome to the Australian National Construction Review. My name's Tamron Hurley, and each episode we take a look at some of the most innovative and exciting companies within the industry around Australia. Today, I'm joined by Francis Hallard and Andrew Chalker from Site Office Moby. Hi, guys, and welcome to the show. Hi. Hey, how are you? I know your team combined has more than 100 years of global experience. Would you like to tell us a little bit more about that? I can, yeah. So uh, there's three co-founders within the business, and we all uh, we all met on the Gold Coast Light Rail Stage One project. So we're all civil um, construction project managers. We also have uh, a, one of our uh, investors, um, uh, initial investors, Paul Gabor, who's been in the building industry for a very long time. Uh, we've yeah, we've done major infrastructure projects. All of us. In and around Australia and globally as well. And uh, how did you first discover or uncover a need for this kind of you know, software within the construction industry? Joel, Khalil and I were working on the um, Gold Coast Stage uh, 1 project and we'd always put in a, a long day and at the end of that day we would kind of sit around together and say there must, there must be a better way of doing this. Um, in terms of using paper and pen and, and Excel sheets and always searching for documentation. I guess we, are, we, we always kind of thought that somebody, um, I guess, with deeper pockets than we had would, uh, would develop something. Um, and we, I, I, we waited a few, a few months and up to, up to a year. And then there was nothing that was really coming out that we, were, we saw would, uh, would fill the need that we believed there was. So we decided uh, to take the leap and, and have a go at uh, making a software that we thought the construction industry deserved. The construction industry has definitely been lagging in product productivity compared to other sectors. Uh, Francis, can you tell us a little bit about what major challenges the software kind of helps? So one of the, the biggest issues uh, we found was the delay in data getting from the site into the office. So a lot of um, projects weren't, were not struggling, you know, forecasting um, because they wouldn't receive the data um, for the last month, you know, until three months later or something like that. So um, we, we decided that you know, the best way to capture that data was to provide the platform for the people working on site and making that as simple as possible um, so that um, they could easily go out and take photos or send messages or you know and, and capture that information and send it to the office. Um, so therefore, you know, the engineers in the office could, could use it and could um, be proactive rather than reactive, um, which is definitely what it seems to be like. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, when you're using paper and pen, it gets a little bit delayed, doesn't it? Now, is your software mobile-based or cloud-based? It's both, actually. Um, so we have a web um, platform and we also have a mobile app. So our mobile app um, is also been designed to be offline capable, so it can work in areas with no connectivity or, or low G which we find is uh, very important, especially for um, teams and clients that are working in um, perhaps tunnels or, or, you know, outback Australia. It's really good because they can still, no matter if they've got no internet connection, they can still capture data and they can still get data from, from the office. So, yeah, that's really important. That sounds fantastic. Well, why don't we take a look at some of the key features of the app? Okay, so to give a high-level summary of SiteMobi, so what you're looking at now is the web software and I've also got the mobile app. So you can see that on my screen now. So the mobile app is completely offline capable. All is cloud based. So everything you do in the mobile app is instantly available on the web and vice versa. Okay, so with the web, you'll see we've got high level dashboards giving you all the insights of a project. So all actions and tasks, recent activity, and then you've also got different types of graphs that are presented for different KPIs. So production quantities, daily costs, production rates, and project risk. You've also got the office section. So in the office section, 
This is a cloud-based paperless office. So any document produced on site is stored in here. So if we went into the safety folder, for example, safety and environment, I've got another series of folders and I've also got hazard reports. So let's go into that and you'll see all the hazard reports listed there under the relevant status. So on the mobile, if I went into the office section, you'll see all those folders there. So safety and environment and hazard reports. And you can see all those documents are there on my mobile as well. So I can create any document using my mobile, fill out all the headings for that document and they'll be instantly available on the desktop. And then from there, you can open up any one of these and view all the data behind it. Anything that's been added from site, including photos, signatures, etc. So I'll show you what it looks like when printed to a PDF. And this is also done through the software. So this is a hazard report, open trench with no barrier. All the headings of the form have been filled out using the mobile app. And you can see we've captured photos, users, locations, even a signature. If you want to sign off a whole point or have a superintendent sign off the safety hazard. Okay, so back to the software, I'll jump into the site section. So what you'll see here is the construction program. So all your activities that make up the program and you can actually see the progress of each one by looking at the blue shades. So I can open up an activity and I can actually get more info out of it. So percentage complete, quantity complete, unit of measure. And that is also replicated on the app. So if I went into site, all my different work areas are there. I can open up any one of those and get all the information behind it. So it's all there. Okay, next step is site diary. So if I click on new diary, so this allows the supervisor or foreman to fill out all the activities, all the resources. So upload all the resources used on that shift against each one of the activities. Each resource has a rate against them, a dollar rate and a unit of measure. You can also add notes, attachments and comments. And if you click next, you can put in all your quantities achieved for the day. So how many cubic meters or how many tons. Once that diary is submitted, it goes to the manager for approval. And once approved, it updates the Gantt chart with all the quantities and all the costs assigned to that diary and all the resources land in this cost register. So you can see here all the costs to date in a table organized by cost code, activity title. And if you click on this little icon next to any one of the resources, it will actually load the diary from that day. So you can view any diary from any day and how much you spent, where you spent it, what sort of quantities you used. And if you click on the print button, it'll actually produce a nice PDF site diary. So this is to replace the foreman's diary and capture every event, every cost within a shift. So that's what the diary looks like. It's got the date, supervisor's name, project, all the notes, all the resources, all the activities, all the costs, all the production quantities are captured in this diary and any photos uploaded. We've also got the team section. So this ties all the team members together. So you've got all your users there. You can create different groups, different disciplines. You can assign users to those disciplines or groups. And then those groups can be used to give authority to different areas of the software. So you can lock out certain groups from certain areas or you can give access to certain groups to certain areas. So that's a very high level look at how the software works. And as I said earlier, everything that you do on your mobile is instantly available on the desktop or the web software. Fantastic. Well, it really sounds fascinating. Do you think that it's limited to use within the construction industry or do you think it can be used across, across multiple industries? When we, we, we definitely see that the software can be used in, in the construction industry, also um, in the building sector. Um, we, we, we speak to a lot of builders on, on, a, on a daily basis who are very interested in the software and like what it can do for them. Um, we, we would see that there would be an application within the resource sector um, and that's, that's probably something we'd have a look at down the line. Um, obviously within the resource sector, there's, there's a lot of um, construction that occurs in remote areas and in rural areas and with the offline capability of the app, there's, there's definitely application there. 
Great. And Francis, what are you looking forward to seeing change in the industry in the future? So I guess uh, I, I'm really looking forward to, you know, really building on construction intelligence and using data um, captured in the field and captured in the office to actually uh, take that data and learn from it and provide, you know, prescriptive, descriptive analytics for for people that are forecasting these these projects so that, you know, perhaps they can deliver them ideally uh, on budget or un even under budget if they can. So um, really using like AI and machine learning and, and data intelligence to actually, you know, deliver um, projects in a, in a more efficient, efficient manner. Well, it definitely seems like the era to do that, right? <laughs> We're progressing in so many different ways and you guys are obviously leading the industry in this kind of technology. Now, if anyone would like to get in contact with you, how should they do that? So they can uh, check out our website, www.siteoffice.mobi, or they can uh, call us on 1300 in a day. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us, Andrew and Francis, and we wish you all the best. We look forward to seeing what you come up with next. Thank no you. problem. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Our pleasure. And if you would like to find out anything about any of the companies that we've taken a look at during the show or any of the projects, please head to our website, which is www.ancr.com.au. We'll see you next time. Bye.